Hello and welcome to this new tutorial in the list dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 in an easy way. Today we will see how to make a communication between an ESP32 and a Raspberry Pi. There are several ways to do that. In our case, we will run the Raspberry Pi as a HTTP server and the ESP32 will send a HTTP request containing some data. Usually, these data are sensors data. This is called a client-server communication. This is the format of the request. I will show you an example later. For the programming uh, of the Raspberry Pi, we will use uh, blocks programming with a tool uh, that I improved uh, called uh, EasyPython. If you are new with a Raspberry Pi or with Python, I invite you to see these two tutorial lists in my YouTube channel. In the beginning, we will start by the programming of the Raspberry Pi. Go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to EasyPython. Make a zoom of 90% to view all the blocks. In the beginning, I will make my board run as a server. It will listen and wait for any incoming message. You should know that uh, you should know already the IP of your Raspberry Pi. This block will allow me to handle the incoming request. Here, I am adding a block to show the start of the server. For any request, I will answer by this welcome message. This block will contain the incoming request. I will put it inside a variable. In the beginning, I will display it on the terminal. You will notice that we have some unuseful information. We will delete that extra part with the clear block. In the end, I will show the final message. This is the generated code. Now I will run it on the Raspberry Pi. If you are new with the Pi, I invite you to see the Raspberry Pi uh, playlist. Here I'm using a WinSCP to create the Python file. And here, uh, putty to run the uh, server file. Here, the server is running and waiting for incoming request. I will try to send one request from my computer. This is the format of the request, and as you can see, the server is answering properly. And this is the message before and after cleaning. Now we will move to the programming of the ESP32. Open Tunyot for ESP32. Here, I will use a template of a client to connect to the Wi-Fi network.
Before sending the request, I will use the connect block. Basically, you can send a request to the server only when you are connected on the destination port. This block will allow us to send the request to the server. The message should be in a string format, but usually the data that we need to send are numbers. In this case, I will create a string variable just to convert the message to be sent. In my program, I will send every 5 seconds the value of the variable i. After sending, I will increment it by 1. Now our program is ready and then we will upload it into the board. Here the ESP32 sent already a request to the Raspberry Pi and it is getting already uh, this uh, answer. Now this is uh, the Raspberry Pi site. As you can see it is getting uh, the data from the ESP32. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.